Hi, my name is Rich Bowen, and I work with the RDO project at Red Hat. A couple of weeks ago, I attended OpenStack Summit in Sydney, Australia. While I was there, I took the opportunity to speak with Emilio Maki, who is one of the Red Hat engineers that works on OpenStack. I spoke with him about his work on the Triple O project. Hello again, we are in uh, Sydney, Australia at OpenStack Summit, and I'm speaking with Emilio Maki, and he's going to tell us about Triple O in Pike, and also what's coming in Queens. Sounds good. Hi, so yeah, my name is Emilia Maki, working on Triple O. Uh, so uh, Pike release has been, uh, has been done a few, a few weeks ago, I guess, almost two months ago, I think, yeah, mm-hmm. two months ago. So the big, the big thing we did in Pike is the containerization of services. Uh, so you can now deploy uh, Triple O. Um, with the, all the OpenStack services containerization. So you have, uh, instead of having uh, uh, each service deployed by RPM, you know, have all the services in, uh, in each, uh, each services in, is deployed in a single container. So you have, um, um, we are uh, like extending the possibilities of uh, the Tupelo architecture. And in the future, we would like to investigate um, which is what we are doing in, the, in this cycle. We have people investigating uh, Kubernetes integration. Um, it's not something that we think that will happen in, in Queens, but we are like looking at it right now. Um, one of the big, the big things we want to focus on on Queens cycle is uh, stabilization of what we did in Pike. The, we acknowledge that the containerization was done uh, fairly quickly, I guess, in six months, which is a kind of uh, yeah, quick for changing this architecture a lot. So um, one of the, you know, one of the things we are looking at right now is um, um, doing more testing, looking at the pain points, uh, stabilization of uh, what has been done. Uh, in some cases, for example, Neutron, Cinder in Manila, uh, there are still some work to containerize the, the plugins the vendor plugin, so that's something that will happen in, in Queens. Um, so if you're looking at deploying Pike, um, you, you won't have uh, containers for Neutron, Cinder, and Manila. That will that will be done for that will be supported in Queens. Um, one of the cool things we did in Pike was the upgrade from Okata to Pike, from bar metal to containers. Uh, because we, we care a lot about operator experience, we think that um, providing a way, uh, an auto- automatic way to, um, to, to, to perform this, this operation, which is basically uh, stop the services uh, and spawn the new containers and start the new applications on the containers so you don't have to do it uh, on your home. That's something that we uh, automate uh, in Triple um, and in Queens, we are looking towards of upgrading the containers, how we are going to do it. That's something that we are already uh, doing it now. In Queens, we are working on testing it in CI, so you can uh, deploy Pike uh, in containers and upgrade to Queens uh, with the new containers. And we provide the, uh, all the automation for that. Um, in Queens, there is a lot of work around Ansible. Uh, we are looking at uh, how can we extend uh, the usage of Ansible and simplify some uh, actions that operators can, can run in the cloud. So we are looking at uh, translating some, uh, some workflow usually done by heat and looking at how to uh, have this workflow done by Ansible. So, um, the operators can rerun some actions uh, if they need. So, for example, uh, how do we generate the configuration? How do we apply the configuration to the containers? How do we manage the upgrades? Everything like this can be uh, can be done by Ansible, and we are currently working on this. Um, beside containers, which is again one of the biggest things uh, in Pike and in Queens. Uh, beside containers, we also um, 
we also worked on um, in Pike we managed to finish the NTS sorry the TLS TLS integration. So it's um, it's a good feature for having secure services. Um, you can now deploy uh, all all the all the triple O services um, uh, with TLS enabled. You have also uh, a lot of improvements regarding the UI. In, in Queens, regarding the UI and the CLI, we are looking at um, improving the, the, the parity between CLI and UI to have a feature parity uh, and closing the gap that we had in Pike. Uh, so what's next? Um, so again, the, the, the Queens cycle is not a very exciting cycle for new features. It's more about Again, stabilization and trying to, you know, uh, improve the way uh, we containerized with Docker CMD, and uh, at the same time looking at uh, the next steps for the next uh, release, uh, Rocky after, after after Queens that will be Rocky. So we are looking at eventually in Rocky having a first integration of uh, Kubernetes. Uh, I don't want to commit on that right now because we are still working hard on stabilization. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's uh, yeah, that's the main that's the main thing you need to know about bike and prints. Um, of course, we we have a bunch of new uh, new vendor support uh, in bike. Uh, I remember that we we have a new uh, new new. Backends for Cinder and Manila. Uh, we have updates on networking. Uh, we support uh, new DPDK features for OBS uh, 2.6. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's a lot of stuff. New support, uh, and uh, I think we still have uh, uh, some work to do on that regard for Queens uh, because of the containerization. So, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. And I'll talk with you in Vancouver. Yeah, of course. <laughs> in Vancouver, in less than six months now. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you.